Good morning everyone and welcome to Vlogmas Day 10. So I'm starting the vlog with wet hair this morning and uh, my fringe looks really weird as well. Um, but yeah, anyway, I'm starting the, ha starting the vlog with wet hair. I'm just about to dry my hair. I've just popped in this L'Oreal stuff again, um, which I'm actually starting to quite like. It's really good at detangling um, and it gives volume at the same time and thickness. So yeah, I am starting to like it and I'm using the same conditioner, the L'Oreal Fibrology one, which I've used before um, and I do really like it. Um, so yeah, I'm, I'm liking my, my hair routine at the moment. Um, so that's what's going on. Um, it is half past seven and I have edited the vlog and got ready. Um, and I just need to make a thumbnail for it and then again I'll take my laptop with me to uni. Because um, I need to take it for the assignment anyway and I'll just upload the rest of the vlog there. And this is my last day at uni for 2015 and I can't believe that. That's so weird. Um, but I can't wait to finish today. It's going to be like a party. I'm so, like, I love uni. I really like my new course. Like, I, if you you hear me say that you probably think oh my god she hates her course blah blah I love my new course honestly but no one particularly <laughs> likes going to uni or school or college I don't think or I think you like going but then like at the start of the term you're like yeah yeah, yeah. and then when it gets to the end of the term you're a bit like oh, I need a break now and that's how I feel it's exactly the same as everyone else but I'm so excited for the end of today um I think we're going to be going out tonight I'm not really in the mood right now so I've said if we, even if we don't go out tonight we can just like get some chocolate and some wine and watch Love Actually and like just have a nice girl at night even if we don't go out so um we will see um I'm not too sure what's going to go on it all depends how I feel at half five because I'm in uni till half five today which is a long day um so yeah that's what's going on um on a Thursday I like go to everything as well um so yeah it's just a longer day than a, than a Tuesday um so that's what's going on really i just need to dry my hair and get myself some breakfast i'm not that hungry this morning I had a really good well i didn't have a good sleep i kept waking up but i wasn't tired that's why so i went to sleep at like quarter to ten or something and then i woke up at like half four and couldn't go back to sleep i ended up going back to sleep and waking up at half six so that was fine but um i was really glad i kind of went to bed earlier because now i'm not tired in the slightest so yeah i love feeling like awake i hate feeling tired it's like the worst feeling ever um i'm wearing this shirt today i haven't worn it in ages and i'm wearing it with my denim button up skirt which i'll show you in a second i feel really like 70s but um yeah i really like this shirt i haven't worn it in ages it's by top it's from top shop um and yeah, that's it. I'm talking rubbish again, so I'm just going to go and dry my hair so we don't deal with this. I really want, you know, in Gabby's vlog, she's been doing, like, braids or, like, plaits, as I call them. I really want to do them, but I can't do them by myself. I need to do some practice. Um, Maybe over Christmas I'll have some practice and try and get the, can, like, the thing right. My friend Claire could do hair so well, so I could just go into uni and be like, Claire, can you do my hair in a plait? But I feel like that's a bit ridiculous. Um, I just really want it in a plait. It's not fair. Maybe I'll try if I've got extra time this morning. Um, but I need to dry my hair if I ever want to Guys, it's 8 o'clock and that is how dark it is. Like, you can't even see the grass. It is so dark. It's ridiculous. It's raining. It's horrible as well. Firstly, I've just realised, and we haven't done the beauty haven't come that I'm about to go to uni, so we're going to have to do it when we come back, but I just want to show you what I'm wearing. So I'm wearing this shirt that I mentioned um, with my denim button-up skirt. I'll try and show you from this angle. It's like this. Um, and I know it's very dark, so you can't really see. Um, but yeah, wearing that, and then I'm just going to wear a white coat. But yeah, we'll have to do the beauty haven't come that when I get back from uni, I'm afraid. Um, because I completely forgot. I've been rushing around trying to eat breakfast. So, anyway, I'm going out to uni now. It's like 12 minutes past and I should be in the car. Um, but I will speak to you when I get there. Guys, it's so horrible and it's so dark. Look, if I turn that off, look how dark it is. So dark, it's so horrible. It's grey, it's raining, it's freezing. And I, I'm just feeling really sorry for myself. Um, and I haven't even left the house yet. I'm just so cold. I'm going to put the heating on full blast and just pray because i'm gonna have to i have to walk like good five minutes to get to uni and well it's just freezing so 
Yeah, it should be great. My hair's going to look awful. Maybe Claire just, uh, is going to have to do my plait for me because it's going to look so bad. So I've just got to uni. I'm in a different car park because the car park I normally park in was full. Um, but this one's actually close to uni and it's cheaper. So I don't know why I don't park here normally. It's just like a multi-storey. Um, I'm on like the top, top floor. But it's not. Gonna, I'm not going to get as drenched. The rain was so bad. Like, I'm not even joking. There was like so much surface water on the road. Like, it, I think it's been, it's been raining all night. Um, and it scares me because obviously like up in like Lancaster and places like that you've got really really bad floods what happens if it happens here as soon as it starts if it's if it's like carries on raining for the next few, a few days I'm home I'm not staying here to wait till it floods um so yeah that that wasn't great at all there was got loads of service water around this roundabout i didn't realize i was going around in one lane and there was like a massive puddle and like so i didn't didn't see it because like around the corner and i was in this lane and i'm not joking it covered the entire car i couldn't even see what was going on on, on the windscreen it was awful so yeah didn't appreciate that the rest of the journey was okay but that puddle was not good um anyway i'm gonna go to uni now because it's like nearly quarter two because i've had to like go and find uh, this car park i have to say i was getting really annoyed because i couldn't find a space and then i was like do you know what i'm just gonna have to not go to uni and i like because literally there's not many car parks you can park in for like all day like around uni some of them are like up to three hours well that's no good i'm here till half five um so yeah i was like trying to find like one that you know you could park in all day if i couldn't have gone to this one i couldn't really go to many more so um yeah, I'm very glad that I've got a space because otherwise that would have been really annoying getting up and getting ready and everything and then being like, oh great. Um, anyway, I'm going to go in now and I guess I'll just speak to you when I get home. Back. So, I don't know what time it is actually, it's like half five-ish. Um, I don't have a clue, but I finished uni early. Finished uni at like four. Um, how crazy is that? We're well, not supposed to finish till half five, it was just amazing. Um, and then I went to Asda um, to get some alcohol, which is up there the absolute um and absolute i meant absolute vodka if you guys didn't get my terminology i went to get some alcohol and also some food for when we get back off our night out because we're definitely going out now um and yeah so it's really exciting um and i'm in such a good mood because i finished uni for the whole year i had a really good day at uni i went to font at lunchtime if you don't know what font is i'm just gonna try and make myself look brighter no no oh um i went to font at lunchtime which is like a cocktail slash food place um, in Manchester. It's like one of my favourite places. And we went for to get some food in there. Um, and I had some macaroni and cheese. Um, and it was just so nice. We just had a great time. Um, and it, I went with two of my friends from uni. And it was just really, really nice. Uh, we had such a great time. And um, yeah, it was just really nice. I had such a good day. Um, and now I'm back. I'm going to go out. And I don't know, I just feel so happy and, and like good and everything. So um, I thought I'd do my beauty advent calendar with you we haven't done that yet today and also turn some more lights on here because we've just got this bright one up here and well that's not good enough here we go that's better i look like a shiny ball ball again um i'm gonna open this advent calendar now because we didn't do it this morning um i seem to just do my chocolate one in the morning i always forget to do this one with you guys um so what have we got what day is it 10 oh it's a long one i'll turn it number 10 is here i always worry that i'm gonna do the wrong one i also need to paint my nails number 10 oh my god really i am so shocked that this is in there don't know what mascara is yet but what the hell, that is full size. I can't get it out, let me just get it out with I cannot even believe I just got this in it. It's the Hypnose Mascara. I've had the Hypnose Drama before and I really liked it, but oh my God. This is, this is crazy, it's full size. That is absolutely amazing. I wanna look at the brush, but I can't. Let's go down here, I'll prop you up and we'll have a look at the brush together. So this is what the brush looks like. Looks like this. It's a really nice brush. It's like twisted as well. That was what the hypnose drama was like. I can't get over the fact that I've got a full size mascara in this. What the hell? That is crazy. I'm well happy with this. If you can't already tell, <laughs> I'm gonna use this this evening. Hey guys, so I'm just about to start getting ready um, for my night out. I've got no makeup on um, and I've just got some wine um, in my glass. 
these are from Waitrose, um, they're like really nice plastic ones, I really like them, um, I got them before I came to uni, they're in my, one of my uni hauls at some point, but yeah, I've got no makeup on, my cheeks look really red, so we've got the heating on, but every time I drink, I always get really cold for some reason, so I've got the heating on, I'm just about to do my makeup, I'm just going to do something quite like grey and smoky, I've got this Makeup Revolution Awesome Metals Eyeshadow, which looks like this, it's one of the copies of like the Steeler... I don't know what they're called, but they really like they look like a wet look eyeshadow. This is the colour black diamond. It's a really pretty like grey e grey shimmery colour. It's just really pretty. And then I've also got a NARS, NARS Assist palette, which is the smoky eye set, which has got some really nice colours in it. If I can just open it up. Um so I'm gonna use a few of these. And then I've also got my Urban um, Kate Naked Smoky palette because I haven't used this in ages. I thought I'd use some of this with the look. And I've also got down here the Kiko eyeshadow in the colour um Ingenious Taupe, which I'll just show you. These are really difficult to open. This is what the this looks like. It's really pretty. I love these eyeshadows. So yeah, I'm just gonna use a combination of all of those bits, pop some music on, and um, and yeah, and all four of us are going out in the house. Me, Christina, Erin, and Martha. And I'm really excited for us all to go out because we haven't been out in ages together. It's gonna be really, really nice. I'm really excited. So hi guys, I guess I should probably say welcome to Vlogmas Day 11, even though it is nearly six o'clock. Um, basically, we were supposed to go out last night, and then my friend Christina was sick, so we didn't end up going out. Um, but we were like just about to go out. It was like one in the morning, so we were like all dressed and whatever, and like we were like drinking and whatever. So I've been like hungover today, to say the least. Um, I've just been feeling so bad. It's obviously my own fault, but um, yeah. So I've just been in bed all day. So I tweeted and said that. I was going to combine Vlogmas Day 10 and 11 just because yesterday I hardly vlogged anything just because we were like obviously getting ready to go out and stuff. I was at uni all day so I didn't have a chance to film at all. So I thought I'd combine these two days, talk to you a bit this evening and stuff um, and then hopefully make the vlog a little bit longer and then we will get back to like normal vlogging tomorrow um, which I feel really bad about. I hate missing dates and stuff like that but I thought it'd be much better for you guys for me to combine two rather than end up with just like one five minute vlog or something and then today would be ridiculous because i wouldn't be even awake until not awake wouldn't be vlogging until now um so i'm not gonna lie i've just been in bed the entire day i really haven't felt very well i feel a little bit better now i still don't feel fantastic um all i've eaten is three slices of bacon all day and it's six o'clock so i'm gonna have something for tea but i don't feel like i can eat right now if that makes sense or i don't know whether i need to eat if that if you get what i mean um so I don't know what I'm gonna do. I really like pasta, plain pasta and ketchup when I'm ill. Um not ill, hungover. Um I like really like just plain pasta and then a little bit of ketchup on the side and dip your pasta in. It's just great. It's it's fantastic when I'm ill. I have just watched Vampire Diaries though from this week and the week before, and oh my god, what even was that ending? Like it was a good ending, but seriously, how are you even gonna have another se a season now? like not a season because it's only halfway through the season but i mean like another when the next episode i'm getting that was the christmas special so i don't think it'll come back on for a little bit now but what the hell was that if you've watched it then you'll know what i'm talking about i'm not going to say it because if you haven't watched it i feel really bad um but yeah i'm like what the hell it was good but I don't know, um, and I'm caught, caught with suits as well, so I don't really know what to do with myself. Um, I finished my assignment yesterday, I think I mentioned it in the vlog, but um, I finished my assignment, that's all today, it just needs to be printed off and stuff, which I'm going to do tomorrow, I'm going to get up nice and bright and early, have a really nice day tomorrow. Um, I think my plan is just to kind of pack and stuff, I've got obviously a lot of stuff to pack. I've got to take my Christmas tree down, which makes me sad, because then I can put it back up when I'm at home. Um, pack all my clothes and just everything, then pack the car, then I'm going to print off my assignment and stuff, and then like take that into uni and like hand that in. Um, so that's what I'm going to do tomorrow, so right now I don't really need to do any anything productive, um, if that makes sense, <laughs> um, because that's all sorted and done, which is a massive weight off my shoulders, and yesterday I just felt so good to have, like, finished uni, like, completely, and, but to be honest, whenever I'm hungover, I always remind myself as to why I don't go out that much anymore, like, I just, oh, I hate this feeling, it's awful, I absolutely hate doing nothing all day as well, like, it just feels like such a wasted day, so, um, yeah, that's, I always go, I always remind myself why I don't go out and get ridiculously drunk all the time. Um, so, yeah, I don't really know how I did it last year. I've hardly gone out at all this year. I've gone out, like, five times, four times in, I think, four times. Was it three times? Four. Four times within, since September. 
Um, so that's just ridiculous. Like that's four in four months from the start of September. I've only been out four times, which it is ridiculous. But I would much prefer to kind of stay in and watch a film, have a glass of wine, and have a chit chat and whatever, rather than go out to a club. Um, so yeah, becoming an old lady, old lady syndrome over here. Um, I haven't done my advent calendars today. I haven't done the chocolate ones either because I'm feeling great. But I will do them in a second. Um, I'm going to just do the beauty one with you though. So I'll turn the camera around so we can see what's in today's. I didn't actually use the hypnosis mascara last night. I was so surprised that I got it. Like, oh, I was just so like taken aback that I got it um but I didn't use it last night because I just use, I used their real because I wanted something that didn't wouldn't smudge if I was out and I didn't know whether it was going to smudge so I would definitely use it tomorrow and give it a go um but I bet it'll just be really good and I'm really excited so I've put, popped it on my bed so we can see it um this is number 11 up here so I'm just gonna open it oh what's this can't really see what that says. What does it say? Oh, it's something for your eye, eye, eyes again. Oh, it's an anti-wrinkle eye cream. I definitely don't need this. Lifting, firming, anti-wrinkle eye cream. I'm quite surprised I just got that out. Um, I don't really need this, so I could give this to someone. Um, but it is always good to have them. At the end of the day, I do like I do like using an eye cream like at night. And I haven't got one at the moment. The other one that I got the other day was for the daytime. So that obviously wasn't quite as exciting as the mascara. But, you know, at the end of the day, it's still really, really good. It's a good size as well. They're big. Like, they're big samples in this. Which I really like. I really want to go... I think what I might do is go and wash my face. Um, because I just... I haven't really washed it all day. I've just kind of, like, used wipes and stuff. Um, and go and wash my face. And then maybe put a face mask on or something. I'm getting all these little spots at the moment. I've got one here... What, like a couple here, you can't really see that, like more like under the skin ones, one here which you can kind of see. I don't know, they're just all coming up and it's a bit strange. I'm using exactly the same as what I normally use, so I don't really understand. Um, so yeah, I don't really know. Also, this just sits beside at the side of my bed feeling really sorry for itself. I desperately need another one that's like not much left. I just love it so much, but I haven't used it in ages because I don't want to use it up. I just need to, I might buy another one with Christmas money. Also, I got an email from Space NK today saying that the champagne pop had been um, shipped. Well, I thought it wasn't even released until Monday. So, um, that's cool. That's really exciting. So, um, yeah, when I get home, I should get that. To be honest, if it's been shipped today, maybe it won't arrive till Monday, actually thinking about that. Um, but, yeah. Also, I'm getting a little bit worried about Christmas presents and, like, them getting here on time. I did mention, um, I think I mentioned, basically, because I'm, gonna, cause I'm now going to go home on Sunday, um, I'd ordered Christmas presents here because I thought I wasn't going home until the week after. And, basically, some of the delivery dates were for, like, next week. Um, and my friend Chris, he is here at uni and he said that he'll bring them home for me, at, like, because he's going to stay till next week. Um, so, he said they'll bring them home for me, which is fine. But if they don't get here by the time he leaves, he's leaving, like, on Thursday. I'm just really worried, because one of them's for my mum, and it's one that I, like, really need to give her, if that makes sense. Like, it's a good present for Christmas. It's not, like, something little to go with something. It's, like, one of her main presents. So, yeah, that would be good if that could arrive, because um, I would really appreciate that. Um, and, yeah, I'm just worried a little bit. But it'll be fine. It said the delivery was between, like, the 7th and the 17th. And the 17th is, the, is on Thursday. So, we will see. Hopefully, it will be here Otherwise, I may actually cry. <laughs> um, uh, to be fair, otherwise, one of my flat, um, housemates will probably, like, just send it to me in the post. Um, so, I'm not that worried, but it would be nice for it to be here. <laughs> I'm now going to decide what to watch. I don't know what to watch. I haven't watched any YouTube today, actually, so I might catch up on the vlogs and Zoe's videos. Because it's rather, she's rather strange that she's, like, obviously, I know why she's uploading every day, but weird seeing her in my subscription box every single day um i might just watch a few videos um and just chill i think i'm just about to put a face mask on i thought i'd show you which i'm going to use i'm going to use this one i love this mask it's the super facialist by una brennan tea flower deep clean pore purifying clay mask and i just really like it i really like it because it's not too drying i've got like my box of skincare here and like, i love this origins one like absolutely love it but when my skin's quite dry, like, my skin does feel quite dry at the moment. It's good for, kind of, like, spots and, like, all that kind of stuff, but not very good for dryness, I don't think. What other ones have I got in here? Um, got this Ren one, which is awful for dryness. Like, it's, it's a really good mask, and I've had it for far too long. It's the Ren Glycoloptic Radiance Renewal Mask, and I love it. I think it's fantastic, but it's very sensitive on my skin and my skin's not the most sensitive thing in the world but it does get sensitive when it wants to i then got this one from soap and glory which is the fab pour two-in-one facial mask and peel um which i haven't even touched this new one I haven't used it in ages and ages and ages um i could probably use that one to be fair what else is in here 
any more I've then got this one from Kiko which is the purifying mask and I swear I have another one from Kiko but I can't seem to find it oh I have this one this is good this is the good things five minute facial mask um, and this is quite cheap this was 2 dollars from TK Maxx it is really good actually I may use that one I haven't used that one in a while I think they're the only masks that I have in here I should probably start using all my skincare in here because it's like in a really big box. It's like in this huge box and I only ever use like my daily skincare. Whereas like when I was at home, I had like access, well, I don't know, not access it more, but I'd like go into my drawer more where all my skincare was. Um, so I should probably do that to be honest. Um, but the I did have the Ren, oh here it is. This one, the Rent Invisibles Pores Detox Mask. And basically, like this has got all clogged. Like it just won't, you can press it and press it and press it and press it. Nothing happens. And you like can't take this off. Like I don't know how you do it. I might have to have a real big play around with it because obviously I can't currently get it out and there's still loads left in it. So it's really frustrating. I've tried like getting a hair grip and like getting all the stuff out. It's still not working. So um, that's really annoying. I don't know whether it's just dried up because it's like a clay mask. As I was talking, my phone decided it didn't have enough storage. But what I was saying was um, this isn't too expensive. So if like obviously it is more expensive than like this one. But it's not ridiculously expensive. So if I need to go and buy a new one because this is all broken and dried up, then... I'll have to, but it's really frustrating because if you can't, if you have to use it up quickly, it's ridiculous. And oh, actually, I also have that lush one, the cup of coffee mask. Let me grab that. This one, this one is good. Mm, this is quite good. I don't know if it's a bit too strong of a smell right now because my head still hurts. It smells really strong of coffee. And this one says, leave in, uh, it's an, it is an exfoliating mask, it's got beads inside it. I don't know whether to use so it. So if you can't already tell which mask I use, I use the Origins one. After saying that I was going to dry my skin out, but I think it'll be okay. Not going to talk for very long because obviously I look absolutely hideous. Um, I definitely look like the moon emoji. <laughs> um, I am going to use my Clarisonic afterwards, which I haven't used in ages. Actually, how do you turn this off? I think that's it. I, that's how much I haven't used it for. I'm glad you can turn it off. I'm going to use that afterwards with the Nip and Fab Glycolic Fix Cleanser. Um, because my normal one is in the shower. My normal cleanser. So I know it might be a little bit harsh on my skin. But I feel like it good, does need a really good clean. I really want a good clean. So I'm going to use this. I haven't used it in ages. And hopefully, I really want to get back into it. This is the uh, Mia 2, by the way. Class on Mia 2. Um, I got it like a couple of years ago for Christmas. And I just haven't used it recently at all in the past like six months or so. So definitely want to get back into using it because it used to make your skin feel so nice um anyway i'm going to stop talking and go and relax with this face mask on um and i'll make some dinner in a little bit i think so i'm going to end the vlog now guys i'm really sorry this one's been really strange um and just very weird um there won't be any more like this um but i can't believe how far we are into december now it's crazy i'm so excited for christmas i really really am i've done like a full like i always do a full skincare regime but i've put i used the clarisonic as i said and it felt so nice and then i've kind of used everything that i normally used on my skin as well and i put that eye cream on that i got in the advent calendar today as well um, and it felt really, really nice. So, um, yeah, that's what I've done this evening. And then I've just uh, watched One Direction on the um, Alan Carr Chatty Man um, show. What else have I done? Um, watched YouTube videos, bits like that. Fell asleep for a bit. <laughs> Woke back up and was a bit confused. Um, and, yeah, so I'm going to go to sleep now. It's like 11 o'clock. Um, I'm really tired, but I was trying to, like, leave it later for me to go to sleep rather than kind of going to sleep at like eight and wake up at four in the morning or something so um yeah i am really tired and i cannot wait for tomorrow to just have a proper day and get up and get changed and have a shower and do my makeup and all that kind of thing like i've said so many times it just drives me mad not actually getting ready um it is my hair mostly i hate it when my hair is horrible and my body feels like horrible and not washed uh, make makeup wise it doesn't bother me as much not to have any makeup on everything else it just drives me insane basically I just want to have a shower and I could have had a shower today 
but it would have mean me getting a shower like six o'clock. Well, seems pretty pointless. Um, so anyway, I'm gonna go to sleep so I can wake up in the morning, have a really productive day, I'm gonna do loads of packing um tomorrow and go and hand in my assignment and stuff. So yeah, it's gonna be rather productive. So I hope you guys have enjoyed this vlog, even though it's been very disjointed, very strange, <laughs> just a weird old vlog. Um and yeah, um also I uploaded a Christmas gift guide for him video over on my uh, main channel. Um so if you haven't seen that, I will link that down below and just here for you um and please please go and give it a watch and comment on there for me um just because yeah i really love reading your guys comments and i get sad when i don't get comments from you guys so um thank you very much for watching guys um, and i will speak to you tomorrow bye